as uh, this next delivery is crashed away for four runs by Callaway. Short and wide outside the off stump. Four runs into the uh, the sheeting away to our right. In and bowls. That's a good delivery that squares Callaway up. And he's going to get four runs for it off the bat. I think leading edge. Yes, signalled as runs. Bowls, and that's found the edge of Root's bat. And Root has gone for 13, 49 for one. And Brown's pace and accuracy have paid off. And Derbyshire have one of the ten they need. Chapel in again. Bowls to North East, who drives gloriously out to the extra cover boundary for four. Doesn't matter how much rain we've had, that one was always going to get to the rope out in front of the East Midlands demolition stand. Again, bowls to North East, it gets a short wide one and gives it the treatment. That's going out towards the cover boundary. It, I mean, it's slowing up, but Oof. so is Lewis Reese, uh, And it gets all the way to the rope. Bowls, and that's edged behind, and Callaway's gone, and Pat Brown's got two. He went hard at that one outside the off stump. It flew through to Brooke Guest, uh, the wicketkeeper, and Derbyshire have two wickets. Callaway goes for 36 off 58 deliveries. There's Chapel is in to bowl and he's bowled him. Northeast's gone. Middle stump completely removed. Chapel celebrates. Derbyshire are jubilant. And Derbyshire could be heading for a win at Derby. Goes in again and that's a full toss outside the off stump and beaten away into the offside for four runs. Potts won't get to that. He's trying to repeat the previous delivery, I think. Ingram gets that one I think off the hip it's run away for four and they are indeed leg buys says Mr Debenham as Chapel bowls and Ingram slashes it away between point and cover and we'll get four runs to time that one nicely actually because it's run about uh, 20 metres beyond the boundary as well and again bowls wide of the off stump and he, uh, well yeah that's going to be in the gap between uh, the gully and uh, the two slips of course it has down to the boundary at third man for four. Reese bowls to Carlson, who drives through the offside for four runs up to the East Midlands demolition stand. And the, as Ingram pulls through mid wicket and uh, will get four runs. And Brown is in short ball, pulled by uh, Ingram in front of square. When I say in front of square, a long, long way in front of square. That's a glorious shot by Carlson. Plays a drive, a glorious drive from an over pitch delivery that's gone for four to a fairly straight mid on, and it's a no ball as well. Reese bowls and Ingram slaps it away backward of point for four runs. Mm -hmm. A little bit too much width offered by Reese. Brown bowls, Ingram drives and will get more runs here. In fact, he may well get four. He does get four as uh, Zach Chapel. Reese and bowls and it's pulled into the leg side by Ingram for four runs out to the square leg boundary. Nice shot. Reese down with his hands on his knees. In and bowls. That one is guided uh, down towards the vacant third man area. A little edgily, but guided nonetheless into the ground down the wicket. This one does pitch and it's turned into the leg side. And there's a half century for Colin Ingram of 93 deliveries. It's the uh, 57th time in his career he's got to first of those. Is Oh, bowled him! What was Colin Ingram doing? He's bowled him, and that is a huge breakthrough for Derbyshire. Jack Morley with the wicket. Ingram playing the big, big shot into the leg side. Chapel bowls. He's pulled into the leg side, and it's gone for four. For a moment, I wasn't sure if he'd got hold of that properly, but he clearly had it. He's cut drives through the offside and may get four runs. There's a chase for subfielder Moore in front of the demolition stand. What's he done? He's knocked the ball about 25 metres away from him. From the race course and back it goes. Carlson chops it away and out towards the backward point boundary for four more. So successive boundaries. One of the final ball of the... Lloyd in again. Bowls. I think it was a full toss, yeah. smacked away anyway by Chris Cook. Through the covers for four runs. And David Lloyd has got one through, and Chris Cook goes driving. His off stump leans back. Now, well, Carlson's been stumped. He's danced down the track to Jack Morley and has been stumped. What was he doing? It's been such a watch for Lennings from Kieran Carlson. Jack 
Morley pulling two man there. Hooked and there's a big appeal for leg before. Wicked in is given. Two in two for Jack Morley. Rhonda hooked and went back. Some might have queried you. Gowthwaite plays that one away through the offside and it's beaten the dive of cover and uh, raced away. As Lloyd Bowles and it's defended by Mason Crane and at that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of your entertainment for today. Glamorgan close on 236 for seven. They're still 25 runs behind.